Hi friends, I'm Sapna Agarwal, Creative Director at Ansa Interiors and today in my design discussion series, I'm going to talk about maintenance tips for wooden floors. Wooden floors bring an earthy warm feel to the house. Besides the aesthetic factor, wood floors are gaining popularity due to their being green in nature. Wood floors look beautiful alongside with being durable and strong. If one chooses to install a wooden flooring, one must also understand how to clean and maintain it. Depending on the type of wooden flooring, here are some valuable tips which you would which would help you to keep the floor clean and looking new. These factors would help not only to maintain the floors, but also to increase the longevity of the floor. So let's consider wooden flooring is of two types laminated and real wood the maintenance is both uh, the maintenance is different for both i think let's talk about laminated floors first laminated floors are tough and resilient easy to care for long lasting and beautiful if you treat laminated floors right they will reward you many years of utility and pleasure here are just a few tips to protect the, and maintain laminated floorings. First, it is advised not to drag or pull the furniture or any appliances along with the laminated floors as they scratch and as they are scratch resistant, but they are not scratch proof. So it is advisable that you lift a heavy object and not pull or drag them. Second, help floor and furniture coexist in peace. So you use rubber casters or soft pads, sticky ones, those felt pads that are a good op option to just protect your laminated floors from furniture damages. Also, slightly reposition the furniture occasionally. Third, avoid contact with water. Water can penetrate deep into the wooden flooring and cause damage. Fourth, keep your laminated floors dry. If you spill any liquid, Clean up the spills immediately since moisture can seep into the joints and cause long term damage. Fifth, remove the stains with care. Always use a soft cloth while removing the stains. And if you are even scraping up some hard set material like uh, dried food or candle wax, use a rubber spatula to remove tough stains like paints, nail polish and ink you know there are instruction manuals from the companies which should be followed let's just now discuss about the real wood flooring and its maintenance first vacuum your floor every week the fine grit in dust is just like a sandpaper and will slowly but surely wear through your wooden flooring's finish second chemical sprays like mosquito repellent hair sprays uh, dios they have adverse effect on the wooden flooring. So these should be avoided to be sprayed near your wooden floorings. Thirdly, wood has a natural property of expansion and contraction. Water in any form can cause damage to the wooden flooring. Putting trays underneath the potted plants is suggested. Fourth, doormats inside and out are a good protection to keep your dirt out. Mats and rugs protect the wooden flooring from abrasion. Fifth, direct sunlight can really harm your wooden flooring as UV rays can cause wood to crackle. Sixth, always get a professional help for waxing. But there are some other important factors which are common for both and the factors which we have to keep in mind for the maintenance of wooden flooring and saving it from getting mucky losing luster and increasing its life like maintaining the right temperature and humidity which will ensure a long and healthy life to the wooden floors avoid using oil wax or any other furniture spray save your wooden flooring from steam cleaning steam cleaning is meant for tiles linoleum and vinyl floors and it is not done on wooden floors it may just leave the floor looking even dull Never use ammonia, alkaline products or any other abrasive cleaners on wood floors. These products can make your floor look lusterless, dull and can induce scratches. 
avoid rolling chairs with casters on the finished surface put them on rugs or maybe plexiglass you know place floor protectors under narrow casters or replace them with wide rubber or flexible polyurethane casters so these are some common points for both the wooden floorings thank you friends thank you for listening to this article for any kind of architecture and interior design consultancy you can contact us on www.ansainteriors.com while if you have liked this article don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel stay safe stay healthy